I look good, even if I do say so myself. And I often do. <laughs> oh, he's coming. Good. The detour sign's in place. Let's hide. <laughs> way to enter contest for cutest kitten in the whole wide world. Well, that's moi. I didn't know about this contest, but I'll win it. I always do. <laughs> that's not funny, Garfield. Of course it's funny. It's just not funny to you. <laughs> What? You're right, Normal. This isn't funny. Huh? Huh? Well, it looks like someone needs a bath. Yes, yes they we do. do. Stop sulking, Garfield. I know you don't like taking a bath. That's not true. I bathe once a year whether I need it or not. Oh, that must be Liz calling. Here, I'll leave you the loofah so you can scrub yourselves while I'm gone. Nah, this isn't so bad. Especially since I have my toy boat and my wind-up shark. Help! Shark! Shark! <laughs> I like this cool rubber mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Odie. Just trying to amuse myself. Taking a bath is so boring. That's because you don't know how to make it interesting. Make up a story. Make up a story. How do you do that? I'll show you. Want to play, Odie? <gasps> then follow me. <gasps> wow. Is it like this at the bottom of every bathtub? It is if you use your imagination. Or even better if you have your own cartoon show. This is so cool. <laughs> hey, Garfield, how come we can breathe and talk underwater? It's my fantasy, so I make up the laws of science. Hey, come on, let's check out the surface. <laughs> No, you can't. You see, the trouble with bubbles is. Might as well join them. Hey, recognize that boat coming towards us? Hmm. It looks just like your toy boat, the one that came with the. Oh! Start paddling. Faster, faster. Whoa, we're not going fast enough because we're too heavy in the water. Get rid of any non essential items. Good idea. Yeah. Uh, it's a fantasy. And anyway, that's a toy shark. You wind him up, and he's only good for about 15 seconds. Uh, sorry to be a bother, but could someone wind me up again? Ah! Will you leave us alone if we do? Well, sure. Okay, then. <laughs> Thanks! You're welcome. <sighs> You're lucky that thing doesn't run on alkaline batteries. Well, okay, Garfield. Huh? This is your fantasy. What's next? Mm. What? Mm. 
Looks like flying fish. What? Hey, you look like that thing John was using to scrub us. Just call me Lufa. You guys are a long way from your bathtub. Yeah. Any idea how we get back to it? I don't, but I'll bet the mermaids do. They live on the other side of Shampoo Island, past the giant faucet waterfalls. I'll be your guide. And how are we supposed to follow you? You can paddle, can't you? <laughs> In my fantasy, not gonna happen. I've got a much better idea. Step on it, Lufa. John is baking lasagna, and I'd hate to miss it. Almost there. Uh, look, the giant faucet waterfalls. Over there, that's where the mermaids hang out. But beware of their singing. Hey, I know this legend. You should beware of mermaids singing because it's so beautiful, it will lure you to crash your ship on the rocks. No, beware of it because they're just kind of lousy. Enough to make me give up seafood. We have visitors. Lofa, who are your friends? I'll introduce us. I'm Garfield. This is Zodi. And I'm huh? Nermal, the cutest cat on land or sea. Remind me to leave you out of my next fantasy. What brings you here? Oh, this Lofa hmm. fish told us you could help us find our way back home. Oh, sure. We know how to. Wait, huh? sister! Wait, you it. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Huh? Oh, you don't have to speak. We've discussed it. And we decided that we'll tell you how to get back to your tub. If you'll do something for us. Does it involve listening to you sing? No. Then we'll do it. Our cove here is under siege. What? A terrible monster lurks about threatening all, scaring no. everyone away. Get rid of it, and we'll tell you how to get home. Just a terrible monster? And what exactly is this terrible monster? It's... it's a... Rubber Ducky! <laughs> right. How could a Rubber huh? Ducky hurt anyone? an idea. Lufa, here's what I need you to do. You understand? Got it. Ah! Come on, Lufa. Hurry. Ladies, it's showtime! Thank you for getting rid of the rubber ducky. We never thought of using our singing to drive him away. <laughs> we want you to have these seashell necklaces, and now we'll keep our promise. <laughs> <laughs> and tell you how to get back to your own bathtub. Come here. Really? No. <laughs> wow. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> Before you go, would you like us to sing you a farewell song? No. no. But thanks anyway. And thanks to you too, Lufa. Have a happy journey home, guys. Come on, guys. Follow me. <laughs> Come on, 
guys. Give me a paw. It's no use, guys. We can't budge it. Uh, hello? Can I help? Sure. Lend us your jaws. Sorry, guys. Boy, that Liz really can get to talking sometimes. Huh? I, I see someone unplug the tub and let all the water out. But I guess you guys are clean. Huh? I'll go get some towels from the cupboard. Garfield, we're back! <sighs> Did any of that happen? <laughs> of course not. It was just a fantasy. And not a bad one, if I do say so myself. <gasps> oh, I think the lasagna's ready. Odie. I think any of that really happened? Okay, and how do you explain these? Ah, I kind of like them. Hello, Mr. Harbuckle. Thank you, Mr. Mailman. And isn't it a lovely day? My, <laughs> you're in a good mood, Mr. Harbuckle. I'm cooking dinner for Liz tonight, and we're going to have a wonderful evening. Life is good. Bye. Yeah, he's right. Life is good. I actually delivered the mail to Arbuckle without running into that cat of his. Ow! That's a special delivery. Welcome to the Mudball Express. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should have been expecting that. Well, let's see if I can guess whose electric bill this is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Set the table for dinner. Check. Dust the TV. Check. Pick up trash from Garfield's mid-afternoon snack. Check. Uh, which brings me to the thing I've been putting off as long as possible. Give pets a bath. <laughs> oh, that was great. Anyone can build a house of mud. We built an entire shopping mall. <laughs> huh? Uh, guys, I baked you some lasagna. It's cooling off in the bathroom upstairs. Hey. Lasagna? <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Where's the lasagna? Hmm. Hold on a sec, Odie. I smell something and it isn't us. Why would John put lasagna in the bathroom unless... <gasps> it's a trap! <laughs> Bath time! <laughs> Bye. I don't care what you say or what you do. You are going to take a bath. Huh? <laughs> all right, all right. I'll take one just as soon as I get home. <gasps> what makes him think we need baths? We took baths. Well, sometime this year. Hey, let's go see Vito. Maybe he'll treat us to a slice of pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vito's Pizzeria, Vito speaking. <laughs> oh, no, Signore. We are not delivering for the next hour. I'm watching my favorite TV program, Complain, Complain with Eddie Gourmand. <laughs> Excuse me while I hang up. Hey, Bo, hey, Bo. Welcome back to Complain, Complain with me, Eddie Gourmand. This is the show where you, the public, can call in and air your complaints about anything! Except, of course, this show or my wardrobe. <laughs> ah! I see where we have our next caller on the video chat. John Arbuckle. I know John Arbuckle. John, what is your complaint? And why do I think it involves your cat? 
My cat and my dog. They won't let me give them a bath, and boy, do they need it. So I'm offering a big cash reward to anyone who can give them a bath and return them home before 8 o'clock. I emailed you a recent photo of them. Ooh, we have that image. Take a good look at it. People of this fair city. Woohoo! Oh, a big cash reward. You can make a lot of money if you find these two and bathe them. <laughs> Vito can do that. A big cash reward. Mrs. Schmidlap can eat salad tonight. I'm gonna go find that cat and dog and give them a bath. <laughs> All you have to do is give my cat and dog a bath. I'll give his cat and dog a bath. John is making a wonderful dinner for me tonight, Mother. What, strange? No, I don't think John is strange. Name one strange thing he's ever done. Please give my cat and dog a bath, please, please! I'll pay you. Somebody give my cat and dog a bath! <laughs> Mother, I'll talk to you later. Fortunately, no one will take him up on that silly offer. Huh? Is it me or is everyone acting weird today? <gasps> Watch out, Odie! Oh. <sighs> Rats! What? Missed him by a hair! Hey, watch it, will you? What's wrong with all these people? <laughs> Come on! Vito's is right down the block here and pizza cures all ills. <laughs> oh, God, I'll give you the big cash reward! <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I got field! Oh, gee! Oh, come in, oh, come in! I make a special just for you. I don't care what it is as long as there's a lot of it. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh. Wow! Oh. At last! A decent sized bowl of minestrone. <laughs> um. <laughs> Why, this minestrone tastes like bath water. Yeah. In <laughs> you go! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pop. <sighs> Vito, what's the soup of the day? <sighs> I think it is a me. Yeah! <laughs> Why is everyone suddenly so concerned with their hygiene? You two, get in the tub! Time to wash. And Ivy! What do you mean, wouldn't it be easier to just take a bath? <laughs> this is becoming a matter of principle. In the tub! <laughs> I'm sorry, madam. Are you upset? Oh. You idiot! You moron! You idiotic moron! I don't know what I'm doing. I'm this way. Wait! 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 We don't smell that bad, do we? <laughs> Darkity Lock, drop the soap and water containers. Calabunga! Let's 
Let's see what kind of trouble we're in now. Hi, huh? guys. It's Liz. Oh, oh you guys look like you need someone to rescue you from all those people with soap and water and brushes, huh? <laughs> We're saved. Ah, oh, this is great. <sighs> oh. Hey, this isn't the way home. To forget about Garfield and Odie for now. Liz will be here any minute. Where should I put the cake? Oh, that must be Liz now. I just wish I'd been able to get Garfield and Odie bathed before she got here. I like my big cash reward, please. What? I mean, how? The I, deal I mean, was a big cash reward for getting them bathed and bringing them back here. Here they are. But, 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 but uh, our date! I... I can't. I have to go to my hairdresser now and buy some new clothes. <laughs> hey, it's okay, John. Whatever you cook for her, we'll eat. Well, at least you two got washed, and that's a good. Oh, look at John, all messy now. You know what he needs, Odie? A bath. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, no, 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 I don't need a bath. I don't... Stop! No, no, I had a bath. It was, uh, I moved me before last. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Help! My mother back in here. Stop, stop. get home in time for the news. They're running a story on my favorite topic, me. Oh, I just realized two bad things. One, we're not going to make it in time. And two, I don't wear a watch. The whole town is talking huh? about the Cape Avenger. Wait, that's the story. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, hi. Hello. Uh, Watching oh, this. And the mysterious feline vigilante known as the Cape Avenger has become an instant celebrity. Ever since his first dramatic appearance at this comic book store only weeks ago, this video of him capturing a thief has gone viral and is now the second most popular cat video on the internet. The most popular, this video entitled The Cutest Cat in the Whole World. Meow, 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 meow. Huh? 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 What happened to the TV? I think your singing killed it. <sighs> well, now we'll never hear the end of that news report. What? what? Rupert Dorf runs the comic book shop where the Caped Avenger appeared. How's business, Rupert? Great, people are flocking here, hoping to see him in person, and tomorrow the new Caped Avenger action figures arrive. <laughs> 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 the Cape Avenger really is. <laughs> Shh! Don't give away my secret identity. 
Do you have a message for the Caped Avenger in case he's watching? Yeah, I hope he'll come to see all his fans tomorrow when his action figure goes on sale. I even built this Caped Avenger signal to call him. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> well, I think the Caped Avenger is a big show off. Uh -huh. I gotta get me one of those spotlights. <laughs> I guess the Caped Avengers fans love everything about him. Yeah, but you know what they really like? They'd all wish he would have a sidekick. The sidekick? <laughs> <laughs> He's right. All the great comic book heroes have sidekicks. Even Ultra Powerful Man gets help from Jeff the Atomic Sparrow. Gee, where could I find a sidekick? Mm. You'd have to be strong. And serious. But with a sense of humor. Odie, you've given me a great idea. Yes, I'm going to hold auditions. Really, Myron? Auditions? That's what I'm hearing. The Cape Avenger will be at the park having trials to be a sidekick. I'm gonna go see if he'll pick me. Oh, oh if the Cape Avenger gets a sidekick, he'll become more popular. His video might even be more watched than mine. What am I gonna do? Well, I think I'm gonna make a Look, up there! Yes, it is I. Too good to be true. Too strong to be beaten. Huh? Too fat to be on this branch. Yeah! Not me, it's the cape. It adds about 10 pounds. Uh, ouch! <laughs> Hello, aspiring sidekicks. I suppose you all know who I am. You're the Cape Avenger! Avenger, 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 Avenger. Yes, and I am here today to find a faithful sidekick to assist me in my heroic activities. Well, I think I'm going Choose me! Choose me! A super chihuahua. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I can be a superhero! Stop laughing at me! <laughs> now then, being a superhero isn't easy. You spend your days chasing dangerous criminals, falling from buildings, dodging atomic ray blasts. You spend your nights risking your life and limb every second. <sighs> it gladdens my heart to see so many of you willing, even eager to put your lives on the line. What is this job pay? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Bye. Huh? Well, no, you're not sidekick material. Goodbye. And don't bother leaving a picture or resume. Why is the Kate Avenger so popular? Just because he's got a cool costume and a cool name. I can't Ooh. wait to get that what? Cape Defender action figure tomorrow. Let's go watch his video ten more times. He is, like, so cool. And I am, like, so sick of that video of the disgustingly cute kitten. Oh, what am I going to do? I know. The only one who could beat a superhero is a supervillain. I'll become a supervillain. <laughs> hey, Hercules. Why so glum? Oh, they all laughed at my beautiful costume. I just wanted to be the Cape Avenger sidekick. Hmm. How would you like to be the sidekick to the super villain who will defeat the Cape Avenger? Oh, do I get to wear my superhero costume? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm closing up for the night, Gunther. I'm expecting a big crowd tomorrow. The Cape Avenger action figure's arriving on. Who do you later, Gunther? There's something outside I gotta go investigate. Oh! Oh! Are you still upset I didn't pick you? I need a great sidekick. The Cape Adventurer can't look foolish. The Cape Adventurer is looking pretty foolish huh? today. What? Rupert, you say the Cape Avenger has a new arch enemy. It seems that way. I spotted them outside my store. 
And when I checked the Cape Avenger signal I made, this is what I found. Huh? <gasps> the Cape Avenger signal. It makes me look ridiculous. Huh? <laughs> Woody, I have to find that super villain and stop him. Now is when I really need a sidekick. Will you be my sidekick? Oh, please, please. All right, all right. I shouldn't have turned you down yesterday. We'll get you a great costume. Good. Let's leap into action. And people are lined up for blocks awaiting the arrival of the new Caped Avenger action figures. The action figures seem to be arriving now. Perfect timing. This is going to be a great day for my comic book store. Twenty cases of Cape Avenger action figures. Sign here. You deal with the mailman, Super Chihuahua. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, the only thing worse than a Chihuahua, a masked Super Chihuahua. I'm getting rid of all these Cape Avenger action figures. Oh, no, you're not. Yay! It's the Cape Avenger! Whoever you are, you're no match for me and my faithful sidekick, Slurp. And he seems to finally have his very own sidekick. Oh, the Cape Avenger! And now he has a partner. I just decided I don't want to be a supervillain sidekick any longer. Adios! <laughs> Nothing will stop me from getting away with these action figures. Yeah. Except maybe the fact that I don't know how to drive. Hmm. Well, what if I push this? Come back, you masked fiend. <laughs> maybe this wasn't the best idea in the world. Hey! <laughs> How about if this van crashes into the trash collection center? And supervillain landed amidst the crates of the Caped Avenger action figures, which, as it turned out, no one wanted to buy. All interested shifted to the Caped Avenger sidekick we caught on tape. We're told his name is Slurp, and his fans can't get enough of him. His online video is now the most watched ever, beating out that one of the sickening singing kitten and the one of the Caped Avenger. <laughs> Well, Cape Avenger may not care about being in first place, but I do. I'm taking my act to the streets. Want to join me? <laughs> sure. Why not? Meow, 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 meow,
black olives, Canadian bacon, extra sauce. Other people put themselves asleep by counting sheep. I count pizza toppings. I see pineapple, more sausage. Huh? The mailman's here? Uh-huh. Thanks for the alert, boy, but I've decided to take the afternoon off. No mailman annoying for me today. Extra cheese, extra, extra cheese, extra, extra, extra cheese. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, that's right, Agnes, the house with the cat. I'm delivering there now. If I don't see you again, remember I loved you. Hold on. This is the dangerous part where I push the doorbell. <laughs> I'll get it! Agnes, I may be okay. I hear Mr. Arbuckle coming. Hello, Mr. Arbuckle. I have some letters for... What are you doing scaring me like that? John's taking up mime. You don't know what mime is? I figured you wouldn't. Here, I had them prepare this brief educational video to explain it. Mime is an ancient form of acting that does not use words or speech and which dates back to ancient Greece in the 5th century BC. It is an art in which you convey a message through your actions and expression. A mime never speaks directly to the audience. Instead, he or she relies on the power of imagination. Now, take a cue from John and don't say anything for the next week or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me guess. You got fed up with the cat and you're running away to join the circus. What? Do I want a cup of coffee? Yes! You got it exactly right! Oh, man, I'm good! I'm really good! I've been taking mime classes for the last three months, and now I'm testing my miming abilities on people. Ah, well, here's your mail. Is that a bill from the Prime Rib of the Month Club? I don't want us getting kicked out. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Arbuckle, our mime school has elected you Student of the Year. What? We have chosen you to represent us at the World Mime Championship that will take place in Paris, France, home of the greatest mimes of all time. Garfield! Odie! I'm going to go to France and win this contest as the world's greatest mime! <laughs> and to really get in practice, I'm going to live my life in mime. I won't say another word until the competition. Not sure why, Odie, but I have a feeling we're in big trouble. <laughs> He's miming everything. He's doing an imaginary drawing with an imaginary pencil. And guess what? At the end of the week, John's boss is going to send him an imaginary paycheck. <laughs> and now he's making us an imaginary dinner. Huh? Oh, great. Imaginary lasagna again. Oh. We haven't had a meal with actual food in it for days. Does he think anyone would be stupid enough to go along with this? Enough already! Your cat is fed up with not being fed up. Odie. Give me the menu for Vito's. Here. Right. That's right. Dial a phone. I'd do it myself, but I'm too weak from hunger. Uh -huh. Vito's Pizzeria. Vito speaking. How may I help you? Uh, hello? Is uh, anybody there? <laughs> I guess there's no one there. 
Fortunately, I plan for an emergency of this sort. <laughs> A few months ago, I recorded one of John's better orders. Vito's Pizzeria, Vito speaking. How may I help you? Vito, this is John Arbuckle. Please send me enough food to feed my cat. Ah, Senor Arbuckle. I will be right over as soon as I can borrow a large truck. <laughs> Problem solved. Huh? Buongiorno. Here is your bill, Senor Arbuckle. Hurry, hurry. Pay him in large bills, it's faster. He's paying him in imaginary money. Uh, please, uh, Senor Arbuckle, pay me for the food so I can get back to my restaurant. Eh? Is that supposed to be the tip? Silly joke you're playing, but Vito will not put up with it. If you do not pay, you do not get my wonderful food. Oh. No, wait, wait. Can't you take an imaginary credit card or something? <laughs> if John doesn't give up this mime stuff, he's gonna have a couple of imaginary pets. <laughs> John's mowing the front lawn with an imaginary lawnmower. There you are, John Arbuckle. Where have you been for the last two weeks? Why haven't you been answering your phone? I keep calling here and someone answers, but no one ever says anything. Oh, student of the year? World Mime Championship? You've been studying mime? You're going to France for this contest? Well, good luck. Who's your partner? <coughs> Not your partner. It says here, all contestants must be duets. Two mimes in a team. You didn't read the back of the letter? You don't have a partner? And the contest is day after tomorrow. Where are you gonna find a partner who can do great mime? <laughs> Oh, no, not me. No chance. No way. I don't think Garfield wants to do it, and that's too bad, huh? <laughs> Would have been nice to win that big cash prize. Yeah, big cash prize. I guess you didn't read this part. It says the winner receives... Oh, wow. That's enough money to keep Garfield in lasagna for a year. Excuse me one moment, please. <laughs> Looks like you've got yourself a partner. How long have they been like this? One hour and thirty-seven minutes. Oh, what is the name of their act again? The meaning of life. <laughs> life is apparently very boring. The next contestant is Jean Arbuckle and his cat Garfield. They will perform the famous mirror sketch. Oh, 
was brilliant. The best I have ever seen. Let us give them the trophy right now. Congratulations. You are the winners. The finest mimes in all the world. You shall receive the large cash prize. Wow. Thanks a bunch. <gasps> He spoke. Contestants are not allowed to speak. The rules are quite strict. If you speak, and you did, you are disqualified. D -d -d disqualified? Oh. Ah, oh, no large cash prize for you. Ushers, remove them from the stage at once. No, that's not fair. I only spoke after the performance. That doesn't count. I protest. I protest. When I need him to order pasta, he doesn't say a word. Now he talks. And they're all good. Some recipes contain layered noodles, cheese, oh, tomato sauce, oh, and onion. And sausage, don't forget sausage. Lots and lots of sausage. And of course, lots and lots of sausage. <sighs> no, I will not throw the stick so you can fetch it. Repeat, no, not. <laughs> No, can you not get the concept of no through that dense doggy skull of yours? I am not throwing the stick so you can fetch it. I am never throwing the stick so you can fetch it. No. Never, never, never. I left out a never. Never! And that's how we fold in the ricotta cheese. Oh, that dog made me miss the ricotta cheese. That's the best part. Hey, any part that involves cheese is the best part. Mm. Huh? Arbuckle, fun! No, I'm just sitting here drawing, Liz. Why? There's a TV show on right now I think you'll want to see. Oh, I don't have time right now. I have a deadline, and Drusilla and Minerva are coming over, and it's then I'm gonna... It's all about the Zabadoo. The Zabadoo? Down in Franistan? As far as I know, there's only one Zabadoo, and it's in Franistan. I'll turn it on right now. Thanks, Liz. <sighs> now, we layer the lasagna noodles in a crisscross pattern. <sighs> I don't know why you people are watching me when there's wonderful programming like this on. Sorry, Garfield. There's a very important show on that I have to see. There are fascinating things to do and you know, people, oh. places to go. There are a lot of different ways to prepare <laughs> All right, Garfield. I didn't want to resort to this, but you're forcing me to use my secret weapon. Nothing will stop me from watching my favorite program. Ahem. Minerva and Drusilla are coming by. Minerva and Drusilla? <gasps> I hated to do it, but I have to see this documentary. There are fascinating things to do and many interesting <gasps> places to go in Afghanistan, but the jungles are filled with monsters and great danger. 
None of which are as scary as Minerva and Drusilla. If anyone needs me, I'll be under here for the rest of my life. The most famous mysterious creature in this country is known as the Zabadoo. Few have seen this elusive hmm? beast, but those who have will never forget <laughs> him. Uh, we went out in the jungle, figured maybe do a little hunting, and we saw him, ten feet tall, all covered with hair. <laughs> and you're sure it was the Zabadoo? Well, either him or this girl I took to my senior prom. It, it was like he was protecting the animals in that area, but I didn't stick around to watch. He was this huge, slobbery monster. And you're certain this was the Zabadoo? Well, either him or the guy who took me to my senior prom. Only one crew has ever been able to film these Zabadoo. We'll show you that rare footage later in this show. But it inspired Ooh. one man to travel here to Franistan. Dirk Dinkum, the most famous adventurer in Australia. They say he's never met the man or beast that he couldn't track or take. Uncle John! People are afraid something awful. This thing called the Zabadoo. Well, I'm here to stop that fear. I'm going <laughs> into the jungle, and I'm not coming out without the Zabadoo, dead or alive. Uncle John? Uh, go play with the kitty. He's probably upstairs hiding under the bed. Kitty hat! <laughs> Afraid of? It's just two little girls. Am I gonna spend the rest of my life under here hiding from two little girls? No! I'm not gonna spend the rest of my life hiding from two little girls. What can they do to me? Ah, we're about to find out. I want to love Jack Frost. I wish you would make it. We want Jack. We want Jack. Protects the animals of the jungle. This doesn't matter to Dirk Dinkum. I mean, really. What do animals need protection from? <laughs> twins. Animals need protection from twins. thing to do to the pup, but it was either him or me, and I prefer it be him. Eh. Dirk Dinkum has never failed yeah. yet on a mission. Can the famed adventurer Dirk Dinkum succeed where others have failed? Can he find the elusive Zabadoo? If I can't, nobody can. But I can. Dirk Dinkum never fails. Hi, Uncle John. <laughs> What are you watching? Uh, just a second, please. As I said, only one person has ever shot video of the mysterious Zabadoo. We'll show it to you right after we make you sit through about <laughs> 900 commercials. Folks, I It's a huh? documentary about a creature in Franistan called the Zabadoo. The Zabadoo? He's that monster nobody oh. hardly ever sees. Hmm. Yes, well, I have a special interest in him because... Oh! oh. Hmm. oh. Uh, yeah. Well, I had this friend once, my closest friend, in fact. He went down there to try and photograph the Zabadoo. Wow! That's dangerous. I'll say. I... I never saw him again. Oh, that's awful. It sure is. His name was Lyman. <laughs> Lyman knew Odie? Lyman used to own Odie. Come on, we'll have milk and cookies and I'll tell you yes. all about him. I thought you owned Odie. Well, I do now, I guess. You see, Lyman was my roommate. He was a great guy. Really loved animals. I knew him back when I was in high school. Then I didn't see him for a while until one day... <gasps> Gee, I wonder who that could be. 
Hopefully someone delivering pizza. Mm. Mm. Lyman! John, great hey. to see you. You haven't changed a bit, I'm sorry to say. John, I need a place to stay. I'm cold, I'm hungry, I'm weak. Take me in. Sure, Lyman. You know my home is your home. But my sandbox is off limits. Is that all you have, the one suitcase? Just that, and my friend. Huh? <laughs> I'm not 100% certain, but uh, it could be a dog. <laughs> it took a while for Garfield to accept the concept that he'd be sharing his living space with a puppy. <laughs> But eventually, he came to accept it. <gasps> Slowly but surely, Garfield realized that it can be nice to have a dog around the house. Huh? <laughs> Look at that poor and dignified mutt. All slobbery and mindless. <laughs> it's just disgusting. Oh, dear, you're so cute. Have a steak. <laughs> <laughs> Bow wow. Arsh. Yip, 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 yip. It turned out Lyman was a pretty good photographer. He took some great mm. pictures of Garfield. <laughs> now look this way and say, lasagna. <laughs> Lyman, why do all the photos you take of Garfield have him either eating or sleeping? Oh. <sighs> um, forget I asked that question. It's forgotten. <laughs> Finally, one day Lyman got a job. He was going to go far, far away, to Franistan, to try and photograph the Zabadoo. You think there really is a creature like the Zabadoo? For what they're paying me, I'll bring back a picture of King Kong disco dancing with Godzilla. Anyway, take huh? care of Odie while I'm gone. No, <laughs> I can't take you with me, boy. You stay here and do everything John tells you. John, tell him to live somewhere else. Here. I want you to wear my lucky hat, which you hate. If you're lucky, I won't bring it back. Oh, but thanks. So we went out and headed for the airport. And, well, that was the last time we saw him. They called and said nobody could find him. He went off on his own into the jungle to try and get a picture of the Zabadoo and... Wasn't that TV <gasps> program going to show us a photo? It was a video someone else managed to get of the Zabadoo. Come on! <laughs> oh. Camera crew from France spent weeks trying to get video of the mysterious creature known as the Zabadoo. Oh. Here, as we promised you, is the few seconds they were able to get. Wow! That's the Zabadoo! Oh. I can't see him. Do you think your friend ran into that monster? Mm, I doubt it. I'm not even sure there really is such a creature. But if there were, huh? Lyman probably never... I see him! Oh. him too! Oh, John, is that anything like the hat you gave your friend Lyman? That is the hat I gave my friend Lyman. Now you say you've heard that the Zabadoo may be holding some human beings captive in his lair? That's the rumor. And if he is, I aim to go in and rescue them. For a prize. What does it mean? It might mean there's a chance Lyman is alive and being held prisoner by... a monster. We'll be back with more right after this commercial. Boy, is this ever a rotten time for a commercial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 